This is by far the biggest unboxing I think I may have ever done. Right, hey everyone and welcome back to Kate's Comics. Today I have my May unboxing for you and this is kind of a return to the big unboxings. If you guys are new around here and you've not checked out the channel before then please hit subscribe down below. Make sure you tick that bell notification so that you're notified every time I upload a video. I am going to be uploading very regularly. So if you want to see two, three videos a week then make sure you hit that bell and subscribe. Also like the video down below if you go on to enjoy the haul. If this is not your first time watching the channel, welcome back and I hope you enjoyed this video like all of the other ones. If you've seen my hauls before, then you probably know some of the stuff we're about to get into. I'm really excited. So first up, I've got a package that I bought from a third party seller on Amazon. It's shipped using Whistle, which is something I've had a couple books come through before. I think it's just like a second hand book shop place. I'm not really too sure. If you guys know, let me know down below but always seems to be okay. Like obviously they are pre-owned books. So first up, this is Shortcomings by Adrian Tomin. Tomin, Tomin, I had this problem last time. I'm gonna go with Adrian Tomin. So if you've seen my five recent reads video that went up in May, you'll have seen that I talked about Killing and Dying, which is another of Adrian Tomin's books. That talks about six short stories and I really, really enjoyed that one. And then I checked this out. Uh, I saw this in a bookshop and I just had a quick flick through it and I really liked what I saw. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. Yeah, this was kind of an impulse buy after seeing it in a bookshop. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that. So next up, I have three books that I bought from somebody off Facebook in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. Unfortunately, the packaging uh, got damaged in the mail or something like that. I'll put a photo up on screen here. As you can see, not great. So uh, rather than unboxing that for you guys on here, I thought I'd take the books out, make sure they're not damaged, make sure they're all okay, and uh, just show them. I decided to upgrade from the Eagle Moss Hardback graphic novel collection and get rid of Kingdom Come. And I wanted to get it in the trade paperback format. I like having it on the shelf as its own thing rather than ha as part of a large collection that makes up uh, a design on the spines. But I still really love those books. I think they're great quality, but yeah. I just wanted to get it on its own kind of format. So that's Kingdom Come. And then the seller was also selling these two, The Dark Knight Returns and The Dark Knight Strikes Again, which are a story I've never ever read. I know, I can't believe it. As a Batman fan, like Batman was what got me into comics. I've never read one of the most famous storylines. Finally checking that out. Was really happy to see those. And yeah, I'm happy to give those a read. So I might do a video of my first time reading it or something like that. If you saw my December haul last year, I think it was December, I bought The Dark Knight Returns and it got lost in the post, so I've not had great luck with that book. And then this time I bought it, the packaging got damaged, but at least I got my book this time. The next up is a package from Amazon. We've got... This is... Outcast Book 3. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you know how much I love this book. I talked about it in my... Uh, top 10 reads of 2021. I've always had the eight trades. I sold them on Facebook and I really just wanted to upgrade to have the four hardback books because I absolutely love this story. And yeah, it's got all the extras and things like that in, in the back, which are absolutely great. And I absolutely love checking out the extras that were in book one. So I cannot wait to check out the extras that are in book two, three, and four. Okay, next up, we've got another Amazon parcel. And this is Big Hard Sex Criminals Volume 1 and Volume 2. This is a series I pretty much know I'm going to like. What I have read from Chip Zdarsky and Matt Fraction before, I've really enjoyed. I recently read Matt Fraction's Hawkeye series. I really liked the way it was written, liked the artwork. I know he didn't do the artwork for that, but I liked the way it was written. Um, obviously, Chip Zdarsky's Spider-Man Live Stories, Spider's Shadow. Um, I haven't read any of his Daredevil stuff or Howard the Duck, but... I do really enjoy what I have read and I want to read more of their stuff and this is kind of what they made a name for themselves with. So I got the first two volumes of that. It sounds stupid but I was not expecting them to be this kind of deluxe almost. I like on the back how it says for mature readers, duh, as if people would be like <laughs> seeing the title of it and be like, oh okay, wonder if my six year old kid can check that out. And then we're on to the last small box before the two big ones that I've got. Alright, I've got three books in here so I'm going to just pull them out one by one. First up, we've got Outcast Book 4. Obviously, just spoke about Book 3 there. We've got Outcast Book 2. So now I have Outcast Book 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's the complete storyline of that. And finally, Big Hard Sex Criminals Volume 3. That's the entire story of that one as well. May was 
quite a nice month for me. I was able to kind of buy some books that I really wanted to buy and I also had a couple pre-orders uh, which we're going to get into right now. I've got two massive books coming up uh, so don't go anywhere, we'll check those out now. So if you guys have been watching the channel for a couple months or maybe even longer than that then you probably know what this book is and I can't wait to get it out. Alright, here we go. I'm so excited for this. Just I've waited so long to get this book and I mean, I'm, I'm hoping it's the book that I'm thinking it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I'm just hyping it up so much. I've been waiting literally since January to have this book. Or February, it was like as soon as it got announced, I ordered it. And yeah, I'm so excited that I finally have it. I cannot wait to read it. This is the reprint of Volume 1, J. Michael Straczynski's Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1. Cannot wait to read this. Absolutely loved it. The fight with Morlin that I've read before, the coming home stuff, and the power and responsibility story. Absolutely great. Love John Romita Jr.'s art. Thought the story that I have read, as I say, was so good. And now I have volume one and volume two. I cannot wait to read this. This is going to be the next thing I read. Um, yeah, going to get straight on reading this. Can't wait. I just love the cover as well with all the villains on and Mary Jane and Spider-Man in the front. Oh, so good. I have been thinking about doing a Beyond the Page for JMS. Uh, let me know if that's something you guys would want to see down below. I've definitely thought about doing it. Uh, he's got a very interesting life. Finally, we've got this parcel that's sellotaped. Don't really know how to open this. So this was a parcel I bought off Facebook and the package, the packaging looks absolutely bulletproof. I <laughs> can't, can't get my scissors in it anywhere, so I'm going to just try and cut it open as much as possible. This is like the world's most intricate box. Then we have the brick that is the comic that I ordered. Okay, after many, many layers of bubble wrap, we finally have it open. This is another omnibus, and this is Roger Stern's Amazing Spider-Man. So I saw that someone was selling this on Facebook. Just really wanted this omnibus when I saw it. It's absolutely massive. I didn't realise how big it was. This is classic stuff, which I haven't really read too much of before. I definitely haven't read any classic Spidey stuff. I'm excited to get into it. And it also has the origin story of the Hobgoblin. It just kind of fascinated me as a character, so I really wanted to see the birth of that character. And also, if you've seen the 90s Spider-Man show, you'll see how good Mark Hamill's portrayal of Hobgoblin is. Uh, yeah, just really wanted to uh, read it and see how it is. And also, how good is that cover? Like, that's such an amazing cover. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. Really like it. Uh, there is one more book that I ordered that hasn't arrived yet, so that will be in my June haul. That is Thor by Jason Aaron, Volume 4. Five, I think. Uh, I really want to get the complete run of that. I did buy it and it's not turned up yet. But yeah, so this is my May haul. One of the biggest ones that I've probably ever got. I am quite worried that the table might just give way with all the weight of these books, but let's see if we can lift them up. There we go, these books are so heavy. That's probably going to be the thumbnail for the video. Quickly just run back through what we got. The Amazing Spider-Man Roger Stern, JMS Reprint Volume 1. Sex Criminals 1, 2, and 3, the big hard deluxe sex criminals thing. Outcasts 2, 3, and 4 to complete the uh, collection. And then we have the Dark Knight Strikes Again, Dark Knight Returns, Kingdom Come, and Adrian Tommins Shortcomings. That's it for May. Um, that's it for me in May. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like down below, subscribe so you don't miss another one. June is my birthday, so I'm probably going to have to treat myself a little bit, although I did treat myself quite a lot in this one, so might have to cut back a little bit, I'm not sure. I don't think I have any pre-orders that are coming out in June. I think July, August, and then September is going to be a big month. But that's it for me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, if anyone is still watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to check out any of the others, there'll be some on the end screen. I'll see you guys in a bit. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.